Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC middleweight Brian Stan. Uh, that's a new thing for you. Uh, how are you feeling coming down to 185 pounds? I feel great. Uh, you know, I probably should have done this a long time ago, but I'm still very young in my career. So uh, middleweight's the more natural weight class. I feel great for 185. Haven't lost any strength. I just have a great team of people around me, you know, from Greg Jackson, Mike Winklejohn, John Chamber, George Lockhart, my teammates, Roberto Traven. Um, you know, all these guys have sunk a lot of knowledge in me, and I have the right people around me to make such a weight cut and do the right thing. So I'm just excited Sunday to show all my improvements. I've been training for six months for this fight, so... You had trained in a lot of different gyms uh, over the course of your career when you were starting out. What is it like to have a, a team directly behind you in Greg Jackson's camp? Oh, it's incredible. Having a team like this, uh, it really speeds along your development. And for me, who came to the UFC and I was underdeveloped, I would say, you know, technically because of my military career, it's definitely helped that, you know, it's helped that increase dramatically over the course of time and I think the biggest thing is when you're training with such good guys you identify holes in your games and weaknesses that you need to fill in quicker because you're going with so many good guys that you're not going to be beating up everybody in the gym so when you're going with a guy like Keith G Jardine Joey Wiesner all the guys you're gonna learn real quick about yourself and uh, how do you like being in the spotlight <laughs> uh, you know right now I love being in the spotlight <laughs> this is easy um, you know uh, Fighting the UFC is amazing. It's, a, it's you know, the biggest arena for, for our sports, the NFL of mixed martial arts. And, uh, you know, we're all just lucky to be here as long as we can. And I relish every single fight I have because uh, you never know when it's going to be taken from you. And your opponent, Mike Masenzio, uh, presents stylistic uh, concerns for you. W what have you done in your camp to ensure that, you know, you're going to be able to, to overcome those and, and show your new well-rounded game? Well, you know, uh, I've done a lot. Uh, I went right back to work four days after my last fight uh, and just wrestled into jiu-jitsu every single day and ignored striking for a little while. You know, maybe once or twice a week I'd work on my striking. That's it. I just worked on my holes and working with world-class people. You know, I went to Abu Dhabi champ Roberto Traven, working on my jiu-jitsu, uh, going to Greg Jackson to work on my grappling, worked with John Barris, Harry Lester, Willie Parks, guys like that on my wrestling for months now. And, uh, and then obviously the man behind me, John Jones. So... I think I'm much better prepared than I have been in the past for this fight. Uh, you know, and I'm not afraid of being taken down at this point. I don't think at this weight class there's going to be many people that can hold me down uh, and stop any kind of submission attempts and things like that and, and, and my ability to get back up to my feet and dictate where the fight goes. Uh, was there a pivotal moment in, in the last six months that clicked everything into place for you? You know, I would say it was probably about a month ago when everything, and, and that's usually how it goes when, when you're training with Greg. Uh, you know, he comes up with this all-encompassing game plan and everything started clicking, no matter who was in the cage with me, no matter how, how tough the guys were, how top-notch wrestlers they were, everything started working, everything started clicking. And uh, I'm just excited to show that off on Sunday. This is the best I've ever felt and the best condition I've ever been for a fight. Uh, you've got a book coming out soon. If you could t tell us a little bit about that and how you balance that with uh, all your training. Uh, you know, the book I did late at night. Uh, luckily, the uh, writer I worked with, he's from the West Coast. So 9.30 to 11 p.m. at night we worked. It's almost been two years we've been working on the project. And, you know, I, I just really took a look at my life and decided, you know, there was a lot of mistakes that ended up leading towards successes. And uh, that's pretty much the theme in the book. And, and I think and hope that people who read it will, will get something from it. You know, I don't have high hopes for how well it's going to do. I certainly don't expect to compete with a, a Forrest Griffin or a Chuck Liddell in their books. But if a few people read it, they like it and they can learn something from it. And maybe, you know, they're headed off to lead men and women in combat. And it, it gave them some insight than, uh, than my mission's accomplished. Uh, last time you were on Versus, you were sporting in the WC light heavyweight title. So is it a nice homecoming for you? You know, it really is. I love the people from Versus. I love it, and uh, I love the fact that, you know, people can watch these fights for free. I think the UFC's just done such a great job of getting the fights out there. I mean, they're being replayed all the time on Spike and on Versus, and uh, it's just great, and it's really nice to come back to Versus. Uh, I had a great relationship with those folks, and I'm happy to be fighting there again. Any last word for fans? Uh, you know, just thank you. Uh, the people all across the country and all across the world that have supported me, you guys have been the best. I mean, there's been ups, there's been downs, there's been sideways, and, uh, you know, they're always there for me, especially those who, who are wearing the uniform. You know, those are my heroes. They know they're my heroes, and they support me in what I do, and uh, I'll lay it all on the line for you Sunday. Brian Stan. Thanks, Mr. Brian.